Hello! Hello! Welcome in, welcome in. How's everyone doing? Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy, ladies and gentlemen. The game begins. We're just gonna jump right into it because uh, I didn't get my code till later than everyone. So, the game begins with an acceptance letter to Hogwarts, as they do, as they do. Um, gotta do slight adjustment here to the game audio. Let me know if it's too loud or too too loud or too uh, soft. Let me know, let me know. So, Professor Weasley is the deputy headmistress of Hogwarts. And I assume we're probably going to have a very long, <laughs> a very long character creation. Okay, so apparently this is like, this was like the, uh, the promo character that they put in all the trailers and everyone said that this guy, this guy looks like me. I, I don't see it. I don't see it myself. Maybe this one? Which one looks more like me? Not bad. Not bad. I gotta change the hair though. Because as you guys can see, I decided to be blonde this year. So let's try it. Let's go a little bit blonder. Let's go blonde. That's more of an ash color. All right. Gonna go here. And my haircut currently is a side part. Ah, see? There you go. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I like that haircut. That's basically my exact <laughs> the exact haircut that I have. <laughs> Literally, that's my haircut. See? See? That's literally my hair. <laughs> wow. That's literally the haircut I have going on right now. All right. Now we just need to choose a face that closely resembles me. I'm assuming we could probably change this a little bit later. I think that kind of actually does look a little bit like me. I don't like the scar thing. I'm not, I don't like scars. I don't have freckles either or moles. So we're going to turn those off. What is the complexion? Okay. No scars, guys. No scars. Eyebrow color. Eye color. Is there like a dark brown? Brown. No, no, we don't do scars, guys. We don't do scars here. I like it. I like it. That's like we did minimal work, and I think that looks very close, like me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Mirror? Mirror? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Looking good. I think it, I think it looks pretty good. No? Very close. Not bad. All right. Let's go. Let's go back. Okay. How do we start now? So, whoa, there's the haircut. Scars and markings. Eye color. Let's see voices. 
I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. <laughs> that was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. Why is there like a deep echo in the background of that person's voice? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Voice options? I option? am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Voice options? Not that great. A few cobwebs and... That was quite something. I, I'm gonna go with the first one. It, it was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Nick? About to dox myself here. Alright guys, you guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go! Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. So Ages this is a prequel to the, castle, to the Harry Potter. It would be good to see the old pile of rocks. So I actually didn't get into Harry Potter. Oh, it's a festival. Within the last two years. I was very, did not get into Harry Potter until Tara basically made me listen to all the books and we watched all the movies together. So I got it into it very late in life. Intro, hi! Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. A dragon! And it was your wife, Eleazar, 
who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Biak again. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. What the? What the heck just happened? The dragon just ate the dude. Holy, that escalated very quickly. Well, we saw death. There are the Thestrals. What is this game? <laughs> Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? So, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Wow, first impressions. That was crazy. <laughs> that was so crazy. Woo. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think the poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I always play the games on performance mode, so this is 60 FPS. Now you can't. Mind your step. I, I generally don't play on fidelity mode ever. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. 
We're good on the audio. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Yeah, it's nice of them. But your eyes very minimal. <clears throat> but sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Excellent. Yo, why didn't we say anything? Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I like how we we jump in straight as a kid. Your one improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. We're not new. We are experienced. Ah, up there. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We're close now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Repairo. Expelliarmus! The only spell that Harry Potter knows. Almost there! Voldemort breaks out that uh, Avada Kedavra. Harry's forever casting Expelliarmus. <laughs> right until the end! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Minimap. Oh. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Just go around? Okay. I can do that. We'll have a look, see. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Look at that distance on that. Damn, that range fighting. I swear that pot wasn't there before. So I need to go around to the other side? All right. It's like on the map it says, Go around this way. That enchanted crystallized stone again. 
But what could it be blocking? Who cares? <laughs> oh. Professor Fig. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Goblin? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? <clears throat> Gobbler! It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> To Gringotts Wizarding Bank. How could Gringotts Vault be here? Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. The game probably does look better in fidelity mode, After but you. I can't do 30 FPS. It's just not, I can't do it. They've done a really good job of recreating it. Keep your hands inside the cars if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Gringotts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Welcome in, Colin. Welcome in. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Like a high pitch ringing in my ear. It was either the game or I have. A, I'm having a seizure right now. Vault number. Vault twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Goblins have always been grumpy. <laughs> to answer your question. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. He 
here we are. All right, what other traps when does this the place last have? This fort was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I like how they started this game kind of like how Harry Potter started his adventure with a visit to Gringotts at the very beginning. I think that I think I I think that was purposeful. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy. Good luck. Good luck to you. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Do I have to... Oh, I have to direct it with the... Oh, okay. Very cool. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Oh, much closer. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Is Professor Fig a good or bad guy, people? What do you guys think? <laughs> this vault has crypto. I see something up ahead. <laughs> what is it? That glow again, but on the floor. So obviously we can see stuff that no one else can see. We'll hit, we gotta hit them with that Rebellio charm. Rebellio. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. Dark Souls? The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Hmm. 
We gotta reposition the statue. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. About to get some soldier on soldier. Ah! Protego? Oh my god. We're literally supposed to stay here and defend ourselves. Can I do nothing but protect? Oh wait. Oh, you know, I can't pass. You can't stupefy us. It's literally armor. Let's go! Oh. I got hacked. Yo, I can feel the juices right now. Yo, Dono hype! Stay close! TJX. Thank you so much for the $20 donation, sir. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. Not again. Dude, that was legit. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. It's all good. We gotta lose some better spells though. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, was not paying attention. The game's not gonna let me uh, get through this without doing the tutorial and following instructions, which I generally struggle at. <laughs> what? No, I definitely passed by the way. No way. Get that Lumos on. Not gonna lie, the game has me. The game has its grips in me right now. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Kind of reminds me of when they found the Horcrux. Don't drink the water. Uh, there you are. How 
did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Oh, it's a pensive. I wonder. Follow my lead. Just dunk your head in there, man. Don't think about it. Go full face in there. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? Fight! I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Thanos over here. The pensive didn't like that. What the hell is that thing? These guys are about to get moabbed. Defend us. Help him! I know way out. Yo, this night's so cool! Bring him with us!
Yo, that was a strategic slice. A block. That knight has brains. Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Let's go! We're at Hogwarts, aren't we? Battle screen hype. Yo, that opening was fantastic. I'm not gonna lie, I had very low expectations of this game just because of the studio behind it. But they got me, they got me. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Now's the time, ladies and gentlemen. The poll is still up. Cast your votes in. We still, we still have time. Phineas Nigellus Black. Ooh. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. The Black. Fig, nice of you to join us. Fantastic the mustache. The sorting is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. So pretty. Look up. Look up at the ceiling. Is there stuff? That kind of looked like Harry Potter, didn't it? One more to be <laughs> sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... 
Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. No! 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 Can't do it. Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff. Can't go with a hat. I, I am not a Hufflepuff. Anyone who knows me, I am not a Hufflepuff. So I had this conversation with Tara. I'm not a Slytherin. She would have married. Tara refused to believe she would have married a Slytherin. So we can't do this or I might get divorced. I know anyone who knows me knows for sure that I am not a Hufflepuff. And I'll be honest with you guys, I am not smart enough to be a Ravenclaw. <laughs> my, I, my IQ is not that high, but I am a very loyal person and a very brave person in real life. So I'm going to go over there. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. I am a Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor! I don't care if you guys think it's the boring answer. That's the house I want to be in. Okay? I am not a Hufflepuff. Oh, and Even though I have a hair for one. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has no. Been what? Yo, Enough. it's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That's some I serious said, garbage. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Quit. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I don't know why, but there's like a Mass Effect Turian it's undertone echo in my voice. A fifth year. Can you guys hear it too? Quite an adventure. It's weird. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor. I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Is the fat lady. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I swear Quidditch better not appear at a later date as paid DLC or we riot. We will riot. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now, 
Which way is the common room? Is there a way down from here? Jump! Jump! It's okay. So pretty. Wait, that's not right. I really thought I had it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? No, I, I merely studied with him briefly before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. <laughs> Who do we want to be a dink? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Is it really that difficult to cast non verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> You're overrated. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. See you on and it. even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. How do I talk the to the girl up top? It'll be the next butterbeer. What you drinking? Gareth Weasley. Sure you don't want to try it? Ginger! Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Maybe at this time, the Weasleys had money. <laughs> Cross. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right, last lady. 
She gets bolder every year. Yo, we just grabbed an apple, ate it in two bites. Magic. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? It's true. I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd be very interested to see how the character changes if you were on the other side of the, like if you were in a different house. Or I wonder if they would just reuse the character models. If for anyone else who's watched other people play this game, let me know. Are the characters completely different and the dialogue different? Or is it pretty much copy and pasta? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. That was very seductive, the way she said that. <laughs> Did anyone else get, the, get like, a little, like, their temperature rise a little bit there? <laughs> I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. This guy is like on guard. His wand is out. Yo, look at this place. Look at the level of detail. It's so good. This guy is having a bad day. Oh. Yeah, the level of detail is astounding. Handful of cash shoes. Hey, the adventurer! Thank you so much for your $10 donation, sir. <laughs> Nelly's trying to scoop. Yo. You need to establish your territory, okay? Establish dominance before anyone else. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Is it a time turner? Oh. Here you are. Wow. Oh. Things are happening. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. 
It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. It's a cheat book. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. <laughs> the guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. It's I certainly would have appreciated back. something like the field guide when I was a student. Oh, oh, oh. Using the guide it's will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! <laughs> no, let's take a look at the, the guide paintings. guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what Revelio. Oh, cool. <laughs> Only way to get XP. So basically, this book contains our skill tree. Combat, field guide pages. open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle cat no time to waste you've classes to attend I'm not more of a I'm not a cat person uh. I am more of a one second Doggo! Say hi to Zoe. She was sleeping underneath the, the bed. She's like, why the hell did you just pick me up, human? Good girl. Good girl, sweetie. All right, back to game. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. The flu network. This is the fast travel. Yo, there's no Quidditch season, but there's a Quidditch field right there. Right there! Why is the south wing is on top of the tower? What the heck? Oh, I kind of want to see how it works. And here we are, quite the time saver. 
These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Let's go! And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Defense Against the Dark Arts? Let's get it. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thanks for dropping by, Lauren. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. No, Crayon. We're just, I'll just keep the video up. Once the stream ends, it'll become available as a VOD. You can just watch it whenever you want on your own time. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, we didn't go to Diagon Alley to get all our preschool supplies. Yeah, there was a little bit of debate of the voice acting. Um, I can hear it. There's kind of like an undertone echo that, but I can. Some people can hear it, and some other people can't hear it. It kind of reminds me of like the Turian voice acting in the Mass Effect series. But yeah, some some people can, can get it, and some people can't. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. 
Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. No more now, snitching. As capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Riley, we are kind of... Okay, you need to stop Riley. We're kind of on the rails right now. Like, the game is literally telling me what to do. I'm on, I'm on the rails right now. So, if obviously, if there's a chance to see the other rooms, we will try to get there and be as mischievous as possible. But I'm being kind of handheld right now. Main quest? The combat's pretty good so far. Uh, it felt kind of basic because we only really had two spells. Welcome in, Sandra. All right, guys. Charms class or defense against the dark arts class? We can, if we do charms, we learn Accio. And then defense against the dark arts, we learn Lavioso. Charms? Charms? Accio is pretty important. Explore first. <laughs> I'm gonna let's do charms first. We'll do charms first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Welcome in, Brit. Welcome in. Complete main quest. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay, we gotta keep an eye for those flu activation things. Where'd it go? Take a look at the cat. Oh. oh no, there's a flu network here. <gasps> Jump around. standing maybe it's underneath me who knows let's just keep going oh it just activates automatically i don't even have to find it okay that's nice that's helpful get away from me yo this guy was cheating i'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you do <gasps> what did he, what what what's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? She gotta kill you? You're already dead. You're dead already. Huh? 
I spend the entire day in Hulk. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. I just mm. got here. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Big Keith 41, thank you so much for your $5 donation, sir. Shout out, shout out. Oh, it goes backwards. Achiel Cup! Achiel. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Midget, I drive a Camry. <laughs> a nice, reliable Camry. <laughs> I mean, a Ferrari. Uh, I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Those bludgers? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? 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 Korean uh. is Asian. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Akio, think of this like go very good. Not to worry. Oh, I see what we're trying to score. Oh. That's it. Okay. Points, points, points. So right on now. Excellent control. Oh! No! 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 Yes. Very good. <laughs> points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a Let's bit go. of a challenge? Let's go. Bring it. Come on up. Which You'll ones? be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yo, am I going to win? Guys, am I going to win? 
Let us see this. I'm gonna destroy you. Wow. Stop! Stop! Splendid! It's <laughs> barely hanging on. <laughs> Yo, don't knock my ball off. Please. That is how it's done. Please. Crap. I just I, I play too I went too hard. I should have played it safe. Damn it. I lose. I already lost! Why are we doing this? Rematch. Rematch. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Shaman, thank you so much for <laughs> your ten dollars donation, sir. Interesting at this point. Shout outs to Hamilton. Say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Hmm. There we go. Oh dear. Maybe I should pull it as they if I Do stand think I will start going easier. If I stand that. in the center, then it'll pull towards the middle, right? Ready? Ready? Good. I need her to mess up. That is how it's done. Oh no. This is fine. This is fine. I know everyone is watching. <laughs> Was this so tense? <laughs> Stay focused. Ah! Yo, this is the hardest game ever. What? Yo, rematch. Can I rematch? Rematch. Rematch. <laughs> Let me reset. Need to score anything, I would have won there. Very good, both of you. Well done. Or tied at least. Oh wow, I'm new. It's my first day. Okay, <laughs> it's my first day. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. I like how they made learning that. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. She got transferred here from Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda forever! That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, 
bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. What? Magic without a wand? You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Akio on humans if you're so. Inspired. I feel like using well, magic without a wand clothing, would be a lot be better. Because I feel like having the you wand is kind of like a humans. weakness. Because if you don't have the wand on you, you're kind of helpless. I feel like teaching magic without a wand should be the standard. But then I guess they can't sell wand merch, right? A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Welcome in, Vion. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, we are done charms. This, this kid looks like a more well-fed Harry Potter. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Chunky Harry Potter. Quest log. Okay. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. There's a chest on this map. How do I get said chest? Nice to see you, my young friend. No, oh, we just keep going lower. All right, to defense against the dark arts, guys. We will learn 
Avada Kedavra today. This is advanced defense against the Dark Arts. Gabo will learn the uh, Forbidden Curses. Or learn, like, just learn about them, not do them. I feel like the mini map's kind of needed. It'd be very confusing to try to get the uh, uh Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. That's a cool one. I want it. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yo, that's a complex. Go faster! Levioso. Wingardium Levioso. No, I'm not gonna finish Plague Tale. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Now, well done. Boop. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Fight! I know. Hit him while he's down! No mercy! Knock him off! Bring out! Bring out! Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Let's get Glad it. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's 
enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Talk to the loser. Loser! Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Eyebrow raising. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. This guy broke the first rule Until of a fight time. club. Talking about fight club. Jacob uh, Kendall, the game started off really stonks. It like started off on a really high note. It's kind of mellowed out a little bit as we're kind of exploring Hogwarts and kind of like getting a lay for the land. But at the same time, I feel like we're doing a lot of things. We, got, we picked up a couple more spells, attended some classes. This eyeball is following me creepily wherever I go. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. What are you up to now? Stop following me. All right. Side quest. To the astronomy wing. Yeah, I feel like the minimap is either if you want to get rid of the minimap, there would have to be like floor indicators, especially at the beginning of the game, because this place is literally a gigantic maze. So I can understand reason with trying to get rid of the minimap to get it to make things a little bit more uh, cleaner looking. But I could also appreciate the fact of the minimap. <laughs> Revelio. Where are these chests that are appearing on the map? Too many cats. Needs more dogs. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Mm. <laughs> Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. 
No more work. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. Welcome you in, Lang. You will find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I want the death stick. Where's the death stick right now? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the Three Broomsticks. I want my wand. I want to do my wand pairing first, if anything. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Just give me the spell, dude. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Levioso. No. Accio. Accio. Got it. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Wait.
I trust the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Slaviosa. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Go! That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Welcome in, Sam Fisher. Thank you for staying that long, sir. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> guys, guys, we have all the spells. All the spells. Gear? Neckwear. No. We actually, since this is the uh, deluxe version of the game, they did give us some extra stuff. I feel like black. I feel like gloves make me look like a bad guy, though. Don't doesn't it? <laughs> Other oh, headwear. Wear some glasses. We can go, go cloakless. We can go shirtless. Yo, just long johns. I like it. I don't know. I, I like my mane to be flowing and beautiful. I'm going to join the game a lot, Lang. It's, uh, it, the, the intro was really good. Now we're just kind of like on the tutorial phase. Dueling club. All right, guys, we're off to Hogsmeade. That's big. That's creepy. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. At this time, there's no such thing as the Death Eater, right? So there wouldn't be any. There could be some evil wizards, though. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Start off with Lumos. Do come and find me if you stumble on something Lumos. illuminating that solves the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. We're gonna get distracted here. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Not the, 
this Hufflepuff wasn't the brightest Hufflepuff. That's why she's in Hufflepuff. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Accio. Yo, get us some knowledge, guys. I came to with my head in an upturned plant pot. Is that it? I swear I saw another one flying around here. Reselect my quest. Whoa! Ah! Chest. Oh, I got some gear. Does the gear impact the other things? Oh, it does. Ah. Oh. I see. So we gotta layer up that clothing. Revelio. That armor was singing at me. Hello. <laughs> Just... Hello. Magic. Looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Welcome in, Joe. I guess we don't need a permission slip to go to Hogsmeade. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I feel like my skin's a little bit darker than I want. Maybe I should go a, a, a little lighter on the complexion. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. I wonder if I can quickly change it in Hogsmeade the settings. It's beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh. I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. 
I'll try to jump in the settings after the stream's oh, finished because I don't want to interrupt the flow of everything. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to look at it after the stream ends. I want to keep the flow of the uh, of the stream strong. I don't see why they wouldn't let you change your options a little bit later. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Akio hippogriff. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named. Oh, it's a flu network. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Trying to find the Weeping Willow. Where are you, Weeping Willow? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Skylar, thank you for your resub, sir. That's a very How nice you icon you got you? going on. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Huh? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Oh. That's a, quite the sign. Hogsmeade! Time to get my drunk on. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. I want to get my wand. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. 
I need to go to Ollivanders. That's the first thing I want to do. That's not Ollivanders. The Broom and Peck. Aha. It's time for the wand pairing ceremony. Let's go. Blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. Uh... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. <laughs> Not a good match. Not a good match. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. What the heck is dragon heart string? That is an ugly. Please, no, that is an ugly wand. Looks like a carrot. Thank God. Thank goodness. <laughs> I did not like that one. Like back to the shelf for you. I did not like that uh, wand. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Warm brown? Oh, thank God, we can design our own wand. Yes! How intriguing. Yo, we can make the death stick, guys. Curious indeed. I feel like 13 inches is How intriguing. I like a 10? Solid 10? Curious indeed. You would? I don't like my wand to be whippy. How intriguing. I don't like it to be bendy. I like it to be... Solid. Go even ten. Curious indeed. Even ten inches. What is that? Acacia? Alder? Elder wand? How intriguing. Phoenix. Phoenix core. Curious indeed. <laughs> you the long I have no How 
14. 14 and a half inches is the longest you can make your wand. I'm not sold on this shape. Curious indeed. I want some of that fancy wraparound that they got going on though. How intriguing. Curious indeed. To be honest, I'm not really sold on any of these designs. But I think this is the best one we got. Unless I change the wood. How intriguing. You would. Willow, walnut. I'm gonna go maple because I'm Canadian. Curious indeed. We're gonna do we're gonna do a maple wand, okay? Why is it not in alphabetical How order? How intriguing. Oh, Elder Wand. Okay, no, we, we, we gotta go Elder. We have to do Elder Wand. I guess we can kind of make it look like the Elder Curious Wand. Indeed. That, I think this is as close to the Elder Wand as we can possibly get to. But maybe a little bit darker. Ah! Ah! Uh, I like it, I like it. All right. All right. Elder wood, Phoenix feather core, stiff, exactly 10 inches. What do you think? I have the power! <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Half moon spectacles. What well, if I don't want to wear glasses? Rebellion. Guys, we're level four now. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's the beginning of Hogwarts Legacy. Really into it? Really into it. Not gonna lie. But. We'll call it the first episode right here. Thank you so much for dropping by the stream and watching with us live. If you watch it later as a VOD, if you need to catch up, we will probably do another live stream a little bit later today. I will schedule it and you guys can check it out then. But yeah, if you enjoyed, as always, thumbs up, greatly appreciated. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.